Kadarius Toney was a first-round pick by the New York Giants and was kind of labeled a bust just a year and a half into his career. He could barely get playing time when he was out there and eventually, you know, got traded away from one of the worst receiving cores in the league for a third-round pick. It felt like it was, you know, maybe over for him, but I think there, there still is hope. And part of why I feel this way is I think that on, you know, while there have been some issues with his game, for the most part, he's played well when he's been available. Let's look at this uh, chart. This is where his PFF grades for the two years he's been in the league, and you see that, you know, it's solid, right? These, these aren't incredible grades, but the, you know, over 70 both years, he got better in his second year of a 78 grade is definitely uh, better. It's, it's on the good side there. Uh, you know, the average player gets a 60 grade, so he's performed above average just he's barely performed. I mean, you look at uh, TOT, that is the total snaps, and there's not a lot of them. I mean, we're talking under 500 snaps in two years as an NFL player. That has been the issue. It has not been ability. It has been availability, and that's the the interesting thing with Tony is that he actually, when he's been on the field, has been very productive. Like this chart is a good example of, I wanted to look at what if he were to get a thousand snaps in a season. Let's look at his uh, yards per a thousand snaps. So in 2021, he had 420 yards with the Giants on just 302 snaps. So if he were to get a thousand snaps, which, you know, that's what kind of players that play a lot get a thousand snaps in a season, we'd be looking at just under 1,400 yards in a season. Now, 2022, it was down a bit. His uh, yards per snap was down a bit. It was uh, 171 uh, with, you know, 114 snaps. So his, uh, you know, yards per thousand would still be over a thousand yards. But if you look at just with the Chiefs and with the Chiefs, one notable exception is I'm also going to include playoffs here. He had 221 yards on 138 snaps, meaning he would have had a 1600 yard season had he maintained that ratio and uh, had a thousand snaps in a season. Now, it's a bit unfair to do this for a couple of reasons. For one reason, if you play that many snaps, the chances are you're going to be a little bit more tired and might not be able to perform as well. You know, when you play 70 snaps in a game, you're just going to be more tired than if you play 20 snaps in a game. And I'm not sure if he could play 70 snaps in a game to begin with. So, you know, there's all of those questions and all those extra things that come into it. So it's not quite so simple to say that next year he's going to get 1,600 yards if he continues playing at this level. No. But... It does make you say, okay, there's plenty of reason to believe he could have a very good season next year with Kansas City. Like, this game is a good example of just some of the things that they do well. And I wanted to kind of look at how are they going to use him next year? And what are the things they might use, uh, you know, with him as a player who, you know, could get more playing time. Maybe with, uh, you know, him being there in the preseason and all that stuff. Getting uh, the chemistry down with Mahomes, which, you know, it seemed like they already started to get chemistry toward the end of last season. These are some of the ways I could see him getting used and getting a good amount of yards. Where it's going to be zone coverage, and you see where Kadarius Tony is on the screen. He's the one who I've circled in yellow, and watch how he's going to run the route he's going to run. Look at how when this play begins, you see that Tony right here, he looks like he's going straight forward, right? That's where you're expecting. That's where the two Denver players on that side of the field are expecting. However, when Tony cuts back towards the top of the screen, he does get open. Mahomes is able to make the throw, and they're able to pick up a good chunk play there. And to be honest, I see no reason to believe that Tony won't be able to consistently do that next season. I think he could be able to, on some of these plays where you just, you know, you have a receiver kind of running a more simple route, you put Tony in, I think he can thrive in that role. And I, I really see no reason why he shouldn't be able to be an effective player for Kansas City next year. Now, what is effective, right? Is effective a 800-yard guy? Well, if it is, that's still pretty good value for a third-round pick who you don't have to pay yet, but maybe there is potential for better than that. One of the ways Andy Reid used Tony a decent amount was out of the backfield, and it does make me wonder if, you know, uh, they have Pacheco now, but, you know, if you want someone who can catch out of the backfield, maybe you put in uh, a Kadarius Tony at, at times. On this play, you have two backs in the backfield, and it's kind of a clever concept. You can see how it can work. It's almost like a pick play, but if you're trying to design to get your running back open, but the difference here is that your running back is also a wide receiver who sometimes plays running back, and this is the value of having a versatile player. 
better. Watch how when Mahomes takes the snap, you're going to see that Kadarius Tony right here isn't necessarily wide open. I think Denver did a pretty good job of switching here and getting themselves in position to, you know, be able to make this play if they want to. But the issue is because of that little rub, you have a situation where the defensive back covering Tony cannot look back towards the ball. And watch how Tony cuts so well. I mean, he sh moves, shifts his body weight so well. Again, he's so shifty and even breaks a tackle off because, of course, he does after the catch. Uh, he's just someone who's really difficult to bring down. But he can also run these routes well. And I think they like using him. Like, you know, they made an effort to get him the ball in the playoffs. Like, they were running plays designed to get him the ball until he got banged up against, uh, you know, Cincinnati. And that kind of disrupted things a little bit. But as a whole, he is someone who, when he was on the field, he was an effective player. And he was really good in his role, and it does just make you wonder, if they expand his role, can he finally become that player that we thought he would be when he was drafted? The answer is yes, he can. It's possible. I think the biggest issue is just could we see a bunch of snaps from him? My question is not could he do well if he had 800 snaps in a season. My question is can he play 800 snaps in a season, which you know we haven't seen him play 500 snaps in two seasons so far, but maybe that's just luck and maybe he's going to finally start uh, turning it around. I don't know, but it's an interesting situation. What do you guys think? That's what I think. Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.